What are we up to, Mush? Marco's coming to pick us up, my guy Marco on the uplift. The boy Marco, eh? Yeah, the boy Marco. Peace. Shout out, Marco. And, uh, First day of testing, people. Testing, testing, one, two. Three. One, what's the, what do you plan on testing here today, Jack? Well, look, mate. Today, uh, we've got the Stram guys with us, so just trying to get a bit of suspension done. Casper's on the alloy swing arm. That's looking pretty saucy. Taxi's got... TRP brakes, best brakes you can get right now. <laughs> I don't know about this guy, eh? What did I tell you about swearing on the channel, mate? This is not for YouTube, this is personal. And not personal, this is, uh, what's it called? Team only. Uh, team only. Classified information. If I told you guys, I'd have to kill you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll put a big classified banner over the front. Yeah. And mute it. Yeah, all right. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll mute it, I promise. No, no way. I'll, yeah. get, I'll get in big trouble. No, I promise, I'll mute it. <laughs> Testing conditions, not looking too good. Not good. First Not day of rain, the day we got a test. Just Why couldn't like it rain when we were filming? Yeah. Leave the rain at home, brother. It yesterday when we sat in bed and watched Netflix all day. It's not the dream. You're not right. The dream. You're right. It could have, but it could didn't. <laughs> and we're not happy about it. We're not happy. Our guy Marathon still isn't here. They say it's just liquid sunshine. Liquid sunshine? Whoa, oh wow, this guy's nice. attitude. <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! What, stop buying Versace? Beachfront Villa. Yeah, I might need to stop buying designer if I want. Yeah, you can have to stop buying. No, I've, I've used off on the, on the spending. You said you did some on the What are some of your um, favourite pieces you got at home? Favourite pieces? I don't know. I, I have you got your chain on? Yeah. I'm Where getting is it? YouTubers. Yeah. I'm getting a gold one, mate, so. Charles. <laughs> How many carrots we got in there, bro? How many carrots are getting your gold on? Well, most go gold chains you have to get nine. Great, you can't see it. Oh, it's too wet. Oh, fresh rain. Oh, that's us, baby. Testing. Timmy tuned. It's Foggy Johnson out there, eh? <laughs> Let's do a MTB, MTB uh, crib tour of the pits. Day one, testing. Here's our pits. We're going to do a pit tour. Van. Take us through up, right? Van number two. Uh, gazebo, Texi and Patrick's work space. Yeah. Oh, wait. Sorry, I'm not the in position. The tech star. <laughs> Get in position. Yeah. yeah. Texi's going full pro this year. Yeah. Nice, brother. Nice. We've got Patrick swinging off the other keys over here. Patrick swangs off it for downhill <laughs> and <laughs> enduro. Man's busy. Uh, no fox in the pit, please. <laughs> and we've got my mind's area. And Major Payne, Dan the Man, whatever you want to call him. There's one left in the box. Um, Sexiest helmet ever known to mankind. You have to, to look. Yeah, continue. On to my one, mechanic knows what's going on. <laughs> yeah. On George is on it. None of what this. What have we got there? None of this. Oh, um, that's his settings. Right, yeah. under the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> we like that. Next, next, next station. Next yep. station. Take us around. <laughs> easy, easy. Casper and Casper. Yeah, so we got Casper. The real actions happening. <laughs> and we got his mechanic, Casper. <laughs> As you can see. What the fuck? Look, we, they have all the snacks down this Damn, end. Damn, man's got all the snacks. He's got <laughs> some pretty wild swing arm <laughs> setups going on, eh? <laughs> Nice, nice. Van tour? Yeah. A few more bikes here at the spa. Mechanic, staff, YT look after our people, you know? Yeah. Peace. Shram, let's go. <laughs> we got the SRAM set up. We got Timmy Chin. He's back, baby. Nico, Bones Bro. Boys are here to get us dialed. Never been a problem that Timmy and Nico can't fix. What rigs he's got? Oh, we can't, you can't see that. What are they? Top secret. Top secret. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> so we'll be doing some mad tunes in here later, people. Stay tuned. All right, people. Suspension's not going to be ready today, so I'm testing the throwing swires. Doing a bunch of laps on the longest swing arm, and then I'm going to try XL with a shorter swing arm, see if it's more nippy. All right, we got the two rigs. 
built up identical. What's different, Major Pain? Um, so we're running a longer seat stay uh, on one of them, but um, and the reduced then, front. Yeah, we've got the five front. mil back at the front, so trying to get a longer rear end. That's a four forty three rear end. Correct. Yep. And then we're running the four thirty eight on this one. Um, XL front still. XL front with a, a neutral um, headset in it. Yeah. Um, and then everything else should be identical if you've done my job right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, mate, I've got full faith you have. Yeah. So the swing arm we got on that is just out of the large frame. It's not a custom one or anything. And we're just trying to get the right balance and feeling on the horse. <laughs> All right, we're warm, we're warm. Oh, yeah. Pinot Morto. Pinot Morto. I did some testing on this track last year. Ciao. Not expecting to see that guy in the car. Homie. No. Well, that brain rattler in it. <laughs> Lomer. <laughs> that was Lomer. Uh -huh. Yo, dude. How's it, bro? Good, you? OJ, OJ. What seems to be real good on like long turns that don't have much bank or support. Yep. Like it just holds traction pretty good, but also the dirt's <laughs> real good though, so you just feel like, yeah. Oh, it would be good to get a comparison with that one though. See yeah, if it's like... like if it does start to slide, you can like kind of shift your weight and control it. It's not just like on my old bike on your track and you're out there, boy. Yeah, you can kind of bring this back. You can see that from like the videos and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to do a couple more laps. I'm going to do a lap of each track on that shorter swing arm. On the longer swing arm, sorry. And then I'll... Do all those tracks again on the shortest swing arm bike. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so Same we... shock and fork. Chin? Yeah. Are you a compression open guy? I'm a full compression open guy, bro, all the time. You? Yeah. Yeah, same. I hate the feeling I of it they choked have a up. Even lighter tune than this one. Like this is L1. Yeah. Right. Have LC. <laughs> yeah, that's what I am said to try. <laughs> Did you go over that little rock on the high line? Yeah, I kind of missed that next one that you got tripped up on. Oh, yeah, I got hooked up on the step, dude. Sketchy ass. Okay. Yeah, doggy. Let's do some swaps. That was the the rough dog. Oh, except the rear. Yeah, I oh, wanted to rear. that's right. I wanted to keep the front one, um, but it's the 541. Okay. Because maybe we just swap the rear yeah because i think that stiff us up might make the bike feel different <clears throat> nice yeah. damn the rocks are a bit slippery way right? oh, hey. yeah you can let that you can let that one bloody eat down the fast straight sections though you just point and shoot, point and shoot and swing off the back boy what stable yeah very stable. Mm -hmm. I think, dude, wait up. I think I might do one more on this super tight track. It's got like all these real tight turns. Yeah. And then we've pretty much covered everything. And then I'll do all those laps on that. Um, oh, like we had a big conversation. I think what you guys were talking about uh, the other day, how the like longer seats day will sort of more position you um, forward. Or put, yeah, more pressure. Yeah, it puts more weight on the front, eh? 
Which you can feel, and I'm used to swinging off the back, so it's a bit weird, but I have liked a couple things about it, so. I don't know, let's see how it goes in the tight. I'm on the Saskia program this year. The Saskia? Saskia. I thought you said Saskia. <laughs> Natürliches Mineralwasser, Junge. Ah, Geilanger. Geilanger. Is this one tight? Um, they're all tight. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that one was tight, eh? Just a bit harder to, to whip, whip round on the tight stuff, eh? I'll make a note of that. Mm. Like, you get halfway through the corner. Normally the bike feels like... I know, like, you can just whip through, but you get halfway through the corner and your rear end's still... <laughs> not in there yet. We will get lunch here. Pasta from... The place we have been, yeah, uh, around about in an hour. Ha oh, oh. ha! you know, Frank the Gunner on the job. <laughs> oh man! What's for smoko, Frank the Gunner, mate? What? What's for smoko? What's for smoko? For lunch. The best for doubles, doubles, the That's what we're doing. It's snowing up the top. Yeah, I'm ready, people. Yeah. yeah. Oh baby, the hot pot. We've got the heater cranking. How's the smoke go, Mosh? Oh, good. Any good? What, the pasta? Yeah. Yeah, tastes a bit funny sometimes, but... <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know, like washing up liquid or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's soapy, bro. Have you tried it? Yeah, it's all good. It was, it's all good now, but the first few bites tasted weird. <laughs> True. Mm. No, mine's all good, brother. Yeah. How's the magic coil? The magic carpet, they're saying. It's the vacuum cleaner, bro. Like <laughs> 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 The vacuum cleaner. Yes, Sticks yes, to the ground, he says. <laughs> Sticks to the ground okay. like a vacuum cleaner. Alright, we got the short rear end prep. Identical. Apart from the offset headset, we got the bar height the same. That should make the bottom rack a bit lower, eh? Yes. Probably not a bad thing. Mosh! 360 for the wave? Oh no! Just have a little bit of a dead leg too. Oh, she's getting purple, bro. Talk us through it. So, what went down? Uh, clipped a tree on the right hand side, got a speed wobble. And there was a drop to the left and my front wheel just dropped and I went like probably like six, seven meters. Hey, kick on. Peace out. Grazie. Back to Cabianca. Doing all the tracks now with the short rear end. It's too cold for the GoPro, it's bloody turning off. bit of both we got a thumbs up yeah i feel like i'm just my weight is way more where i want it with this i don't know if that's just because i'm used to riding this sort of setup but i did lose the rear a couple times yeah but it was slippery wasn't it it gets 
very slick, yeah. Yeah, so now it's hard. <laughs> now I'm testing a new setup, but on different conditions, it's hard. Yeah. The GoPro's freezing up and not working, so we put a GoPro sock on it. <laughs> man bun! Yeah, we're running a man bun. Hopefully, it works. We'll see. Might keep it a bit warmer, or who knows? Maybe not. The man bun didn't help, bro. Oh, no. Comes off. It's beyond. Yeah, definitely a bit driftier in some of those turns. The other one, it feels like you can, the longer in, it feels like you can let your brakes off early in some turns and just control the traction around, whereas that, it just, the back end brakes a bit loose, but feels better for pumping, like picking up over stuff, couple real fast, punchy drops at the bottom that this feels better on. You can just swing off the back whereas the other one it feels like you like go off it and then the back wants to come up whereas this one's just like just shoot off it i think yeah this with the long end is not good because it's like putting the long end on but it's also pulling that back so it's making the front even shorter i think if I, i've got to try the long end just on the full bike like i've been running at home but i feel comfier like that rear end and then an offset bush um, in the shop. Well, we won't need that because we're running less compression now just sitting down and we don't have that 10 mil under there. So the bottom bracket's sitting lower. Yeah. All right, this is the favorite setup by far. XL front with the shorter, large swing arm, Amosh. We got the final test. We're running the biggest swing arm back on the full size front end. Cause I feel like this is lifting the bottom bracket as well and it's taking more out of the front, so it's making the rear end just way too long compared to the front of the bike and I'm getting pitched over the front. I did that because I wanted the overall wheelbase to stay the same with both setups, but it's it makes that feel a bit wacky, but especially with that lifting the bottom racket as well. They're both XLs. Yeah, that one's just got the minus five mil cups in it and a long rear end, a Bosch long rear end. Painting out here on the speed swap. <laughs> Mosh! <laughs> on the drop. is swing arm testing done ended up with xl front and the large swing arm which is a bit shorter than the xl one just feel comfy on that eh? feel like my weight's more in the middle of the bike where i want it and i can whip it and rip it around tight as shit and i don't know i think i just drift with the rear a bit drifts out the long one was super stable and it it had lots of good sections as well but uh, overall i think the small the smaller one suits me better i'll take the long one home maybe try it at home but i was feeling half yards on that short one 
We like that shit. <laughs> you like that shit? Subscribe that shit, <laughs> Thanks for watching, people. Really appreciate the support. Watch some more Moimo TV right here to help with the channel. Peace.